Okay, so I'm gonna mount a small 32 inch TV in a bedroom and there's no aerial point and no power socket nearby either. So we're gonna get all that fitted up in the room as well and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what's going on here is we're gonna be mounting a 32 inch TV up on the wall up here. There's currently no aerial socket there at all. You can see it's just blank. There's yeah, no aerial socket. There's no power. The nearest power is right down on this other wall down there. Far too long for the cable to reach, so common scenario. So we're aiming to have the TV mounted up here with power socket up here and a TV aerial socket up here, all buried inside the wall so that when the TV is up on the wall, that's all you see, everything's hidden behind it. And it'll look a neat, tidy job. So yeah, we'll get some footage and see how we get on. Okay, so we've got the TV up. It's mounted in there. Um, it's all nice and level. And use these grip it connectors, don't know if you've seen them. They come in different sizes and different load load capacities. Um, but yeah, that's the TV up, right? So now we're gonna get um, a TV aerial socket mounted behind here and power socket for the TV. Uh, we're gonna be able to bring power in from the loft and obviously the aerial cable from the loft, which comes from an aerial and distribution amplifier in the loft. I've already tested the signals, uh, but you're gonna have to cut out the wall, bring the cables down, so when the TV's up, you won't see any cables and she'll be laughing. Okay, so I've marked out the areas where the socket's gonna go, the power socket and the TV aerial socket. So I'm gonna just cut them out, get the multi-tool and cut them out now. Okay, so I've cut out the sockets and now basically gonna have to go up into the loft and drill the hole down through the, uh, through the joists and locate the TV aerial cable that I'll feed up and power cable that I'll feed up and I'll be linking the TV aerial cable to the amplifier, that's, uh, sorry, the splitter that's already up there and the power cable going into a, a, a fused spur. Um, yeah, just to obviously keep the cables safe. Um, yeah, we'll have a look in a minute, see how it looks. I'm going to get some cables running, okay? So I've been up in the loft and drilled a hole down. And the reason and the way I could see, I measured out down here, the distance from this light switch to where the holes are. And then you find these cables up in the loft. I measured the same distance across and I've drilled down in, in the joist and uh, what I've done is I've shone another one of my head torches up there. So when, when I'm up in the loft, I turn my head torch up there off and it's all pitch black and it makes it easy, easy to see a glow of light coming out. So I know I'm in the right place, but it'll be easier for me to feed the cables down. So I'm going to get up there and feed the power and coax TV cable down, fish them out through here and then get them connected up. Okay, so finally got the cables down from the loft using the feeder rods, got TV and power, so we'll get these connected up. Okay, so that's it, so the power socket and TV aerial socket are in. Like that. So now the TV will go up there, but no dangling cables, and that's just a proper job, and they're gonna redecorate in here anyway, so. Right, let's get the TV up on the wall. Okay, that's it, the TV's up, mounted, just tuning in behind me. That's on a swivel bracket, obviously. 
as you can see. I'll show you. All socketry is all behind the TV, so when it's up, you know, you can see nothing. Okay. So yeah, success. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and if you like this video, give it a like because it helps the YouTube channel grow. Thanks for watching.